And that's what this verse means. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. That's the change that's got to take place. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. Okay, the trumpet sounds, who are the dead? Question, who are the dead? All those in heaven, right? No, that, that, I, I don't know, you just, you just got sidetracked, okay? No, it's, it's the people in the grave. They're the dead in Christ. They're dead. They're asleep in the grave. And they have to be raised from the dead and changed into that spiritual body. All right. For this corruptible must put on incorruption. And this mortal, notice what we are now, mortal, subject to death, must put on immortality. When do we put on immortality? You know, this puts the, the teaching of the immortality of the soul, that you have an immortal soul right now, it just knocks it into a cocked hat right here. No, this verse says what we are now is mortal, and we got to put on immortality, but we don't put it on until the resurrection, until Christ returns and raises the dead. Until the resurrection, what happens to the body? Well, it returns to the dust of the earth, okay? It returns to the dust of the earth. Ecclesiastes 9 and verse 5 for the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. Neither have they any more a reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. <clears throat> so this passage tells us the dead don't know anything. Now why is that? That's because they're dead. They're asleep in the grave waiting for the resurrection of the dead. Now I know, that, so there's no contact with the dead. Now I know there's people that claim they made contact with the dead, but... Actually, what that is, is evil spirits posing as deceased loved ones. And that's something you want to stay away from. I mean, the, whatever person you might go to who actually claims they've contacted the dead or, or made connection with the dead. No, it's evil spirits posing as deceased loved ones. And that's evil, and you don't want anything to do with that. Because you can open up a door of, a, to the diabolical world of demons by getting involved in that. All right, Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was given, talking about the body, and the spirit shall return to God who gave it. Now that spirit that makes you, you, returns back to, the body goes to the ground, the grave, in the dirt, turns to dirt again. The spirit goes back to God who gave it, but it's not conscious the spirit that returns back to God is not conscious of anything. It's not rolling around heaven, wondering, looking down, wondering what's going on. Oh, there's my wife that I used to be married to. She didn't got remarried and she's in the bed with another man. No, it's none of that nonsense. The spirit that returns back to God who gave it is not conscious of anything. It's just stored away until the resurrection. At the resurrection, it'll be given back to you. Okay? Now, James 2 and verse 26, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead. Notice what this verse says. It says the body without the spirit results in a condition called death. When you disconnect spirit from your body, it results in a condition called death. The body goes back to the ground, the dust of the earth. The spirit returns back to God who gave it. It's a period of death. At the resurrection, that spirit will be given a new body, a spiritual body, and that's what you're going to be raised from the dead with, a new body, a spiritual body. Okay. 